salt, it flavors, it preserves, and it is a necessary mineral for life. But can it be bad for you? And is too much salt a bad thing for your gut? In this video today, we're gonna go over salt and the GI tract, how salt can really affect your gut microbiome and what's going on inside your gut. We'll discuss exactly how much salt you need and how much salt is too much salt. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna give you three tips on what I recommend to minimize or manage your salt intake. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks so you can live your best life from the top all the way down to the bottom. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe so you get more videos like you're watching in today's channel. Now, sodium or salt has been around for a long time and it's been used to help flavor food. In fact, wars have been fought over salt, but lately, salt has gotten a bad rap where too much salt can cause high blood pressure, stroke issues, and can be a risk factor for both heart disease and kidney disease. However, salt also plays a major role in what's called homeostasis, the balance between everything going on inside your body. And it can be hard sometimes to know how much salt to take and what that balance is. But what exactly does salt do to your gut? What we do know is salt actually does play a role when it comes to your gut microbiome. Unfortunately, most of the foods that we have in today's Western diet is saturated with salt and we're seeing that reflection on changes in the gut microbiome. What we are seeing is that as salt goes through your intestines, it gets absorbed inside that gut and it can cause your gut microbiome to change as well, changing from a normal gut bacteria to ones that actually want more salt and become more acidic in that salty environment. Now what the long-term consequences of that are, we don't quite know at this point in time. We do suspect that there's more pro-inflammatory microbes that are being developed as you have more salt and less of the good guys as well. And that can lead to other medical conditions, including gut issues, neurological issues, skin issues, and joint problems as well. And this is on top of the other effects that we're seeing that salt can have inside your body, including raising your blood pressure, causing heart disease, and kidney disease. Now, normally your body does need some salt every single day. We need it for that homeostasis to balance what's going on. So having too little salt can actually also be dangerous for you as well. Typically, you need about 1,500 milligrams of salt or 3.8 grams of salt per day. And for sure, you don't wanna have more than 2,300 milligrams of salt per day because that's going to lead to too much salt. But maybe you're like me and you're like, hey doc, I don't measure my day by the amount of milligrams of salt that I take. Give me something better for comparison. Well, I'll give you that now that you asked. Now keep in mind, all you really need is about 1500 milligrams of salt per day. But let's say for example, you had that big old burrito at Chipotle. And, oh, that's so good. Guess how much salt and calories is in that burrito, that one burrito. 2,650 milligrams of salt with that one burrito on top of about over a thousand calories. Oh my God, that's like a quadruple whammy. It's terrible for you. That one burrito gave you way more salt than what you needed, affecting your health and your gut microbiome, in addition to that extra 1,000 calories you just ingested. So how can you be more mindful about your salt? There are three ideas. Number one, start flavoring your food with other things besides salt. A lot of herbs, spices, Mrs. Dash, this is all fantastic for your, for flavoring without having the excessive salt in it. Number two, don't go cold turkey. Maybe this video convinced you, hey, I wanna get rid of all the salt. Don't do it all at once. Do it slow at a time. Your taste buds need that time to adjust. Add in more spices, get your taste buds adjusted so you can slowly start to eliminate and minimize your salt. Number three, swap out high salty snacks for high fiber snacks. Instead of salty potato chips, have some vegetables. Ah, oh, how does that sound? Of course, you're getting the benefit of not having the salt, but adding more fiber into your diet. So here's my call to action to you. This week, I want you to be more mindful of your salt intake. Look at the ingredients. See how much salt is in there. Are you having more salt than what's recommended? Are you overdoing it? Really be cognizant of the amount of salt you are taking into your diet. And look for ways to cut back. You may notice a benefit for your overall health 
and your gut microbiome will thank you as well. And if all that salt is causing you to have problems with heartburn and reflux, don't forget to click this video where I talk about natural ways to help out for your heartburn and reflux. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I can give you great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. But thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks everyone.